What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. For breakfast, I had some garbanzo beans and some ice cream. Um, for lunch, I didn't really have anything. And for dinner, my mom made this wonderful meal with raw fish and potatoes and corn on the cob. And that was really good. I'm just hanging out today. I look really tiny. I don't know why. <laughs> Maybe it's because I'm giving myself a very tiny frame. Um, I'm just hanging out today. I woke up at six this morning, which isn't gonna work. <laughs> it is gonna work. I love waking up early, but I got home today at eight. So, uh, you know, I'm gonna go to bed at uh, like midnight, I think, about, about midnight, I think. Um, yeah, I'm just doing my thing. I donated blood plasma today, which is pretty cool. Um, I donated it in my left arm. Today was my first day donating blood plasma. You can kind of see. No, you can't. You can't. There's like a little red spot here where plasma was donated. Oh, you can kind of see it. There's a little red spot where plasma was donated. It was cool. It took me like an hour and a half to get there. Um, and I showed up. They're like, oh yeah, we need your ID and your social security card. Like not your, like your card, you know? And I was like, you know, it appears that I don't have that. Um, so very scarily, I reset the password on my payroll app and I downloaded my W2 onto my phone and I opened up the PDF, which had my full social security number. And I was like, see, look, the full document with my name on it, that was my social security number. And that worked. Um, and I also showed them my photo ID because I just carry that around. Um, and then, so then they scanned my fingerprint so I can sign in later. Um, they also took my photo. They also took a pinprick of blood on my finger, which actually didn't feel like anything at all. I expected it to hurt at least a little bit, but it didn't at all. Um, and that went pretty well. Um, then I uh, went to the... Um, then I completed a questionnaire. It was like something like 60 or 70 questions. Oh, hold up. I have my thing running. There we go. Um, I did a questionnaire. It was something like 60 or 70 questions. Um, it was all like pretty normal stuff. It was asking me like if I have had HIV or if I had had hepatitis or like a whole bunch of, you know, blood related diseases. Um, and it also asked me some weird questions like have you been in like, like the UK or France or Italy from like 1995 to like 2000? And just like weird questions like that. I'm not sure what they're exactly what they're referring to. I tried looking it up and nothing really showed up, but I didn't really try too hard. Um, I'm sure somebody asked that question on Reddit and somebody answered it, but yeah, they asked some really oddly specific questions. Um, I said yes to the allergies. So I was like, yes, I have a not allergy and a, and a latex allergy. Um, and for a couple I did, I don't know, um, because one of them was, have you been diagnosed with COVID in the past year? And I've had COVID and I've tested positive for COVID, but I haven't been diagnosed by a doctor, you know? So I said, I don't know. Um, and then on the neck on, and then on the other one was, um, have you been prescribed any prescription medication, which you can actually see it back there. On my um, nightstand, I have some steroid cream that has been prescribed to me for my my red fingers, my eczema. Um, uh, but I didn't know if, like, by prescribed medication, they meant like. <coughs> Sorry, I don't know if per by prescribed medication they meant like a pill that I take or something. Um, and I was like, I don't know. I don't really think of my steroid cream as like medication, but I guess it is. Um, so I said, I don't know to that. Um, and they just ended up mentioning it in my, you know, then I was brought into a room with a, like a doctor, um, and she just asked questions. She was like, when did you test positive for COVID? Um, and I was like, oh, like, you know, like late February, uh, late January into February, which I think is true. I, I don't honestly remember when I had COVID, but it wasn't recently, you know, I'm past the, um, dates that the CDC recommends, which I don't know, the CDC doesn't recommend any dates anymore, apparently, but you know, I'm past the the days that you're supposed to be isolated. Um, and, uh, yeah, then she asked about my allergies. I told her I was allergic to nuts and latex and she was like, okay. Um, and yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, she asked about my steroid cream. That, that, that was it. Um, and yeah, so then there were quite a few times where I had to 
like not only in the pinprick process, but also like when I was in the doctor area where I had to like say a statement, like I, I had to say out loud, like I agree to the following statements that if any, like just like you had to say things out loud and then like scan your fingerprint, it's like a digital signature. And that was a little unusual. Um, I get it though. Uh, taking out your blood plasma through like a weird osmosis is like a very, you know, a personal process. Like I, you're, you're, you're like, that's like, I'm sure if you were doing surgery, you would sign similar stuff, right? It, it's just like, you know, I'm not too worried about it. It was just unusual because I'd never done anything that serious before. I'd have to do like several signatures. Uh, but you know, I ended up going, okay. Um, I sat in this chair that was sort of shaped like this. It was like flat and then there was like a, no, it was like flat where my legs were, but then it was like curved where my back was. So my spine was sort of curved. Um, it was very comfortable. It was like one of those really fancy massage chairs that you see in the mall. <laughs> um, so I just sat down, um, a lady came up and she just sort of talked to me. I, I, I think she put, yeah, she put the little, it was like the thing that they use to test your blood pressure. They put that on my arm. Um, and then she left and then another lady showed up and she was like, oh, they haven't even gotten me ready yet. And I was like, uh, okay. So she just like pressed some buttons on the machine and then she left and then another lady showed up and um, she was like, um, she actually got me set up. So she sterilized a little, she's like, she sterilized a little bit in my arm. Um, she was like, uh, she just talked about it. I don't know, there's a screen to the left of me. Um, so the way it works is the donation process kind of works in like two phases. So there's a phase where um, blood is being taken out of you. And then there is a phase where I'm pretty sure, don't quote me on this, but I'm pretty sure the red blood cells are being put back into you. Um, because all it has to do is just take the blood out and then separate the plasma from the blood and then they can put the blood back in. Um, so in the times where it's taking the blood out of you, you're squeezing this thing over and over. Um, and you know, the thing is like, has a pressure on you on the back of your arm and you're squeezing this thing. And uh, you know, you can see the blood come out of you, which is kind of unusual. I've never had blood drawn before. Um, but then um, the thing sort of loosens up and then the hand grip little symbol on the um, screen disappears. And that's when you're supposed to stop squeezing. Um, and then that's when they're putting the blood back into you. Um, and you know, you just sort of sit there for me personally, I felt just the tiniest bit of pressure and the doctor told me that if I feel anything at all, uh, just raise your hand just in case because if you don't raise your hand, it could get a lot worse really quick. So um, I felt a very tiny bit amount of pressure. I had no worry about it, but I was like, well, the doctor told me to raise my hand. So I raised my hand and I was like, hey. So one of the people came over, she was like, what's wrong? And um, no, one of the people came over and she was like, is there too much pressure on your, <laughs> I said, I said, I think I'm fine, uh, but it's putting my blood back into me. And she said, is there too much pressure on the, um, on your arm? And I was like, yeah, which, you know, I, I think it's a very common complaint. She was, so she was just like, oh, we'll turn down the pressure for the world, turn down how, how much it's putting into you at a time. I was like, okay. And then she turned it down and it was way less, still a tiniest bit, but it was like, I don't think it, it would feel like nothing to have blood put into you. You know what I mean? Um, but don't quote me on that. Still raise your hand if you feel that. Don't don't have me, don't follow any of my advice. Um, but yeah, that was pretty much it. Um, they gave me a protein shake, which was nice. Um, and afterward they gave me like a debit card and stuff, which is actually right there. Um, and yeah, then I went home and it took a really long time. It took like four or five hours, um, which makes sense. I mean, that's what I heard online, but it's kind of different when you're experiencing it. It's like, re it's genu it, it's your whole day, you know? Um, so first time, make sure you have no plans. Luckily I didn't, but it does take a really long time. So get ready for that on your first appointment. Um, but yeah, I think donating plasma is really cool. Um, you know, on BioLife's uh, docs, on my BioLife, on BioLife's website. Um, they talk about how there are some people who need like 120 like vials of blood plasma every year. There are some people who need like thousands of vials of blood plasma every year. So, um, and it can't be synthetically produced. So it's, you know, it's a good thing to do. Um, and also, you know, of course there's some financial incentive to it. Um, and especially considering my boss at work isn't like, like, w like working right. It, like he's, he's working on a movie right now. He's not working. I can't work at work. Um, 
it uh, makes sense. It, it, it's cool to get some some money on the side, you know, um, and just you know be able to donate plasma and get money. And it, it's it's cool. It's a cool thing to do, and it's a good thing to do, and uh, it's a you know it's a good way to get money. And you know, aside from the first day, all the rest of the days you're getting paid like twenty bucks an hour, so including travel, so you know you're getting compensated. Um, and yeah. All right, see you, dude. That's it. Yeah, goodbye.